walk in divine health, Romans 10, 17 says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. So the word that we hear and that we are hearing this morning, it should build our faith. That if we feel any little thing weird, and brethren, we shouldn't wait. That's it. As children of God, we should not be reactive. We should be proactive in such a way where every morning we're getting up and we're speaking the divine health over our lives. We're not waiting until we, something has gone wrong. We're claiming the promises and we're putting them in place from day one. And um, chapter 12 and verse 2, we know that it says, Present your bodies as a living sacrifice unto God, holy and acceptable unto him. And it says it is our reasonable service. So this temple, submit this, give it back to the manufacturer and the man. And said, manufacturer, sort me out, fix me up. Put me under the x-ray machine. Because guess what? I may think that I am healthy, nothing is wrong with me, God. But you know I'm presenting myself to you, Dr. Jesus. Fix me, Lord. Praise God. Sometimes, brethren, when we go into God, man, we don't need to go to him and say, God, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. No, man. Just. Talk to him and say, Father, you are a doctor. Look at me. Go through my body, God. Take out the things that are not of you and fix me right. We are too, I'm not saying the natural things are not good, but we are so consumed with asking God for the natural things that we don't remember that there are other things. God, teach me how to live in communion with every man. It is not, I can say from me, it is not easy to live with some people, brethren. It doesn't matter what you do. They just try to get you upset. So pray. We need to pray and ask the Holy Spirit. God, grant me the understanding that even though this person is not so easy to live with, God, I want to be healthy. Teach me how to be able to remain in a relationship. I have to be here in the space with the person. So teach me how to. Tr so we can have an amicable relationship. So we walk in divine health. When we yield to God. And we have a singleness of heart. Yes. Yielding to God's word. Having that singleness of heart. putting By putting into practice. That which he says. And of course yielding to the natural things. That we ought to do. If an individual abuses their body through neglect and overwork, and I believe all of us here, we are guilty to this one. We overwork our bodies. We neglect the things that we do need to do. All the while believing for divine health. Are they really standing on the word of God? No. Right off the bat, no. We are walking in folly. Why or why not? So why is it that the person that abused, why did you say no, Sister Dose? We know the correct thing and we go against it. And as Pastor says, but God is so merciful because we run to him and we're saying, God, please. Forgive me, God. Fix me this one time. Come, Sister Ruth. And he does it, and we go back and do the same thing. Please come to the microphone, Sister Dos. Sister Ruth. <laughs> Glory to God. And as it clearly says, um, as you asked a question a while ago, in verse 26 of Exodus 15, and said, if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, mm -hmm. thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandment, and keep all his statutes. I will not. Yes. So if we don't do it, don't expect it. And then we blame God, but we're not doing all. We may be doing some, you know, but we're not doing all the things that he has asked us to do. Go ahead, brother Pastor.
Uh, happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Uh, we'll let the Sabbath scripture to share, uh, which is First Samuel 15, verses Um, Brother Pastor, could you, uh, the, the volume, could you put it up a little more so we can all hear? Um, so I have a scripture, which right. is um, at First Samuel 15, verses 23, which says, For rebellion is as the mm -hmm. sin of witchcraft, mm -hmm. and stubbornness is is as iniquity and idolatry because because wow. thou hast rejected the word of the lord he hath also rejected thee from being king wow. so so the reason why the reason why i'm right reading this is simply because the fact is is that is that um the, um, the previous persons who have came up um the, uh, the word of god um talks about health and those kind of things so we shouldn't be stubborn um, to the word of God and that we should um, read the word of God and we should abide by it. So it is a sin to be stubborn and it is a sin to be um, rebellious. Praise his name. Thank you so much, Brother Pasco, for that scripture. I've known that scripture for so many years and I've never applied it to divine health. I've never looked at it that I... If I'm not doing the things where health is concerned, I'm being rebellious. Thank you, my brother, for, for that, for opening our eyes. What provision has God made for every believer to walk in divine health? We know what Isaiah 53 verse 5 says. By his stripes we are he spoiled, brethren. What else do we want Jesus God to do? He sent his son. He allowed his son to bear our sins, according to the memory verse, on the cross. And we are still not doing what we wicked to God and Jesus. That's what I will say, and I will include myself. We are wicked to him because he has done it all. And all he says is that walk, claim it, receive it as your own, and you shall Brother, um, you have your hand up. Go ahead. Please come to the microphone. What I'm saying, you see, I'm talking about, um, you're talking about um, walking the presence of God. I have something inside of me that God put inside of me right now. God speak to me and tell me that. It's the, 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 the spirit that I dwell inside of, that I put inside of you, is the spirit that raised the dead. Sometimes I feel sick in my body. I feel pain. And I just walk. And I just use the word. I am healed in the name of Jesus. No sickness take over this temple. It belongs to God. Amen. And when I use the word, I get healing. Amen. Every time when I born, I am 60 a year old. And I don't sicky sicky. Any wow. time I feel pain, I just use the word. And I get healing. So I just believe. I just stand on what God said. The life that we are supposed to live. And if you stand on the word of God, God ready to take you out of that situation. That um, is what we are saying. We need to stand for righteousness. No sickness can devour this man. I'm going to say something to you. I don't, I don't say nothing. You, yes, what I'm saying to you. I can remember one day God speak to me. I buy a mask to put on. And the Holy Spirit said, no, 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 don't put it on. Don't, don't put it on. Don't put it on. But you hurt. I want them to know who he is. And I don't wear it. I come into church, we have to put it on. If I go into business place, I'm here pain. Don't, him, no, no, no. This Mr. Brown is a man of God. Make him go on. Where's the mask? I don't have any. Go on in, go on in. Go on in. Because God speak to me. Policemen are whole people. I throw in a choke. And me just stand up and just pass him. They just look so. You cannot touch the man of God. God give me a something to carry out. You cannot touch the man of God. I believe that. No sickness can devour me. No sickness. And I stand on that word because God tell me. And I believe what God say. Amen. Let me say something to you. 
down at my workplace there. I go down there. Manager called me upstairs. Mr. Brown, I want to speak to you. And I go up there. Um, boss, where is your mask? In my pocket. You know, suppose to have your pocket, get it down, because you have to go take the vaccine. Can I speak to you, boss? My vaccine is no companion. God belongs to me. God angels surround me. No sickness can devour me. The boss said to me, then, if God exists, why people are dead? I feel it to my heart. How we are talk to my God? I go on the back and go sit down and I pray. I say, God, something wrong here. So I'm not supposed to die here. So. God said to me, say, look here. Step out, leave them. The lady said to me, say, all right. You lose the work. God, I go provide a job for you. For me left there, so. All when I done one job, God says he more there. Me not run out of job. Them no have no behavior. My God will save me. And you are going to tell, I go, go against God. When you go against God, you go against me. We represent God and God represent me. I'm standing for righteousness. And I step out. And when you step out the yard, who won't call? Mr. Brown, can you go and take up a test and come back to the work? I'll know me no answer. I don't need it. God said, don't go back there. Don't take none. And I just step out and leave them. I believe in a God word. Once you stand on God word, you can't suffer. God is the way maker. Nothing can God have mercy. I believe, believe God's hotel. I don't know myself. Nothing in this world can overthrow the man of God. I stand for righteousness. And I believe God by faith. I don't walk by sight. I walk by faith. If I am going to hurt, I use the word. No sickness devour me. I am a man of God. He angels surround me. Nothing cannot be done. That is my word. Praise the Lord. Uh, how old are you said you are, Brother Brown? 60 something? Brother Brown? Oh, how old are you? You look good, my brother. He's 60 plus. He looks good, I must say. Brother Brown, you look good. Keep it up. Keep it up. And he's active. Brother, brethren, you see, he's an active man. But I want to, as we go on, brethren, I want us to, I want to remind us that even though we obey the law of the land, it's not saying we don't believe the word of God. All right? So we, that, let's put that out there. We must obey the law of the land because that's we as children of God, we show the earth that God is in control by our obedience. Uh, so final question, and I, I, I'm not going to answer this question. I want us to ponder it, and I want us to engage the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit will show us if, we, if there is something we need to fix. The question says, how are we instructed to properly care for our bodies? We have learned that this morning. Are we, and I'm putting myself in it, the compiler said you, but I'm saying we. Are we robbing God of glory by not taking care of our temple? I'm repeating, question, Facebook, YouTube, congregation. Are we robbing God of his glory by not taking care of our bodies? If we, we are, it's a resounding yes. So all of us, we need to repent and we need to say, God, help me to make a fresh start. You have an awesome day. And as of today, I pray that we will start seeing some changes in the lives of those who are here and those who are listening. Do have a great Sabbath. Yes.